All right, how's it going welders on YouTube? So I've been asked recently how I record welding videos, and uh, this is what I use to record videos uh, under the hood while I'm welding. These are video glasses made by <clears throat> a company called Pivothead, I'm sorry. And these are the uh, Kudo. Now, unfortunately, uh, I think the company went out of business, so they don't produce these anymore, but you might be able to find them on eBay. I'll leave a link from B&H uh, in the description and a photo in the video. Now, not any video glasses will work to record welding. I warn you, do not buy cheap glasses. These are 200 bucks. I originally bought a $30 pair of video glasses, and the moment you step on the pedal and the high frequency start uh, kicks in, it will actually distort the video. So um, yeah, definitely spend a little bit more money and look into the type of camera that is in your video glasses when you purchase them. These particular glasses have a, uh, a Sony CMOS camera with uh, really good night capabilities and it's really great HD quality. So yeah, do your research on the camera that's actually in the video glasses themselves. Now I have a piece of tape here and that makes it a little bit easier to aim my uh, my face at what I'm looking at. You know, it's a little bit of trial and error because uh, as you all know, if you have safety glasses or glasses on underneath your hood, um, they can move around and you know, like sometimes you might need a couple of takes to actually get something in frame. But uh, yeah, these are the uh, glasses that I use to record welding. They're very discreet, so if you're at a place that doesn't allow video, if your hood is down, nobody can tell you're recording. But yeah, this is it, my solution to uh, recording video while I'm welding. Now there are other solutions as well. You can take a manual camera and mess with the uh, settings to uh, get good arc photos, but the downside to that is that you, you have to have somebody else welding and then you have to adjust the camera, so it takes two people sometimes. Or you can fork out thousands and thousands of dollars and get a camera that's dedicated to welding, but that's not really necessary especially, you know, for uh, guys just wanting to, you know, show examples of their work and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, here are the video glasses. Thanks.